A warning tonight from police for people living in Riverside after a man is caught on video going through someone's mailbox in the middle of the night. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live at the police department to explain. Good evening, Jeremy. And good evening, Mai. That surveillance coming from a video doorbell. We spoke with the homeowner. He tells us he got a video alert on his cell phone. Took a look at that alert. It turned out to be a stranger's face on his front porch. Now local police are sharing that surveillance this evening. These are the seasonal sights and sounds Seth Normington expected to see in Riverside over the fall. But Friday, one sight caught him off guard. It's definitely unnerving to see a stranger was up on your front porch. Around 445 in the morning, home surveillance shows a man creeping into view and checking out his mailbox. He left with nothing, but managed to take a little of Normington's peace of mind. I was a little surprised. Maybe uh, looking for some type of a card, the easy cash. Well, who knows what he was looking for? You always worry about credit card applications and identity theft and, and that sort of thing. Uh, that was one of the things that I thought of right away. Police believe that man tried to make off with mail at at least two other homes in the area and want you to take a good look at this image. Person described as a man with glasses, facial hair, wearing a backpack at the time of the incidents. Hope they find him. Um, it's pretty sad that someone is in a state where they need to go door to door looking for things to take. While some clean up what Mother Nature delivers, others focus on how to make mail delivery and their homes more secure. I'm planning to add the, the video doorbell very, very, very soon. And police here are encouraging other neighbors to consider that security option going forward. They, of course, add, if you recognize that man on the surveillance images, to please give local police a phone call. We are live in Riverside. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Bye. Thank you, Jeremy.